Welcome back to the 20 and 20 Take Two. My name is Paul Taylor and welcome to the first arrondissement in Paris. It's where it all started. It's where I used to live when I first moved to Paris. The hell are you doing, Paul? Wait, hold on. This is... This is my shtick. Oh, I thought this was my... No, look, look at the sign. It's even written on the sign. Oh. Well, I don't want these stupid videos anyway. Jesus. The man belongs on stage. Welcome back to the 2020 Take Two. My name is Jay Swanson, and we're in the first arrondissement of Paris today, the royal arrondissement, as it were, and surrounded by what was formerly a royal brothel. Will we talk about today? Maybe. Will, should we not? For monetization purposes, maybe not as well. Can you still buy me a coffee, though? Yeah, I'll buy you a coffee. Thanks. Yeah, no worries. The first arrondissement is home to many of my favorite things. This sort of, I'm very conflicted about what you're seeing behind me. We're not gonna touch it today. I actually am planning on making a video at some point entitled Skip the Louvre to give you some alternatives to going to the Louvre because it's big, it's overwhelming, and as you can see, tons of very loud people around and behind me right now, and you might not wanna come here. Once in your life, you should come here. We'll talk about that some other time because I do love the Louvre. Don't get me wrong, you can still skip it. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna find some really good coffee spots, some nice little parks to walk through, maybe a spot for a good drink, and some Japanese deliciousness here in the first arrondissement as we close out. You can hear my voice is giving out because this is the end of a very long series and I probably should just not speak for a week. We can start that at the end of this video. Let's go. Cafe Nuance, these guys have been in a few videos along the way. They're one of my favorite roasters in town by far and are in a neighborhood that needed the help. This is uh, the first, obviously. We're not far from Place Vendôme where you have the Ritz, you have a lot of really expensive jewelry and traditionally not very much good coffee. And now there's good coffee here and it is right across the street from the second. This is the one I was referring to last week when I was talking about uh, maybe we would cheat and jump into the first to grab coffee. We didn't, we held true. We waited until this week to come here, but Cafe Nuance is definitely worth a visit if you're in the area, especially if you happen to be wandering through, doing a little bit of shopping, or you're coming from Palais Royal, the Louvre, you're not terribly far from the Tuileries Gardens here. The interior is really interesting because this used to be a creamery, like it used to, they, you can see on the wall, they still, they advertise butter and eggs, which they don't actually offer inside, but that's how they found the original tile on the floor. A lot of the, I believe the entire interior, like the, the immediate entrance, but the back is all modern and they've got some fun merch. You should definitely check them out, Kepi Nuance. I'm glad they're here. It was raining earlier today, and there's a little more that I like to eat in the rain than ramen or udon. Something soupy, noodly, and the udon here, so good, along with everything else. Udon Juvi is one of those places that they don't give you any extra sauces. There's no salt or pepper on the table. Unless they're holding out on me, they hand it to you, and, and it's perfect as it is. And it is really good. The fried chicken, the udon, the katsudon, like so many good options. The tempura, everything looks amazing. This place is really fun. It's a little compact. You're probably gonna end up sitting at the bar. In fact, that's exactly what I'll do. There are some tables downstairs, but sitting right here watching them make the food is fairly magical and a great experience. But if you're on Rue saint Anne, there are dozens of options around here. I have a few in my guide that I know and love, and then there are just, you can basically throw a rock and hit some good food. So Rue saint Anne is probably the core recommendation here. But again, like if you like Japanese food, if you like Korean food, you're, you're not gonna go wrong. There are so many really good options down here, but we don't dream get the lunch menu, get some extra bonuses on the side, and uh, voila, perfect lunch. Although now it's starting to like heat up outside, the rain has gone away and it's getting a little sweaty in here, but that's okay, it was still uh, so good. I remember their fried chicken being good, but I don't I didn't remember being good. Let's go. And thanks to today's patron producer, the last patron producer of the entire thing, my dad, who's standing behind the camera right now. I meant to have him in the shot, and I just realized he's not in the shot. Uh, I'll be giving one of these maps to each of my patrons. All 20 of these maps that I made over the course of this series are I'm gonna be giving away. These are hand drawn. I actually drew each and every one of these by hand and uh, made the same mistake in every single one of them that I found later, which you can find if you get one of these. And the people that are getting these are patrons. So if you are watching this right now, it's already live. It's been live for a couple days on Patreon because they've gotten previews of all of these videos. It's gone live. Leave a comment if you're a patron, if you want one of these maps below that post, the post with this video on it, and uh, yeah, I'll go through, make sure that you have your shipping information actually in your account. If you don't, this is the time to go update that, and then uh, we'll give some of these away. And uh, you can leave a note thanking my dad for holding the camera when I'm thanking him for being today's patron producer, Mills Swanson. Thanks for being my dad and for coming and visiting me. I appreciate it.
Have you never been here before? No. I have been absolutely nowhere. I am a dad that lives in the suburbs. And so uh, I like uh, hanging around with Jake because he gives me some good tips. Well, I'm happy to take your I, I, I know, I know, I know, like places to perform and like comedy clubs. Yeah, that's you, about you've it. You've introduced me to all of those. I, those I've never been to before. So no, yeah, they're fun. But uh, yeah, these kind of places, no idea. Kevin Kitsune is just one of those places that has popped up all over the place in the first, and you'll find like five or six of them. There are a couple of really nice spots. One of them, not far from here, just on the other side of this building behind me, has two stories, a bathroom upstairs. You'll find it on the same road that'll take you to the opera. It's a really good option. Also air conditioned, so if you want to get out of the heat, you can go there. But this is pretty magical because it's located in this covered gallery in a historic building with the park. Kevin Katoon is also like a clothing brand and a record label, as I understand it. They don't sell any, any music or clothing in this shop, but you will find other shops where they do sell their clothing. I also did, this is a quick, just a quick reminder. I got the limonade. In case you ever order limonade, it's not lemonade. It's more like a citrus. It's like, it's like Sprite with a little bit of extra lemon involved. Just, just a reminder, limonade, not the same, but it's also not the same as Sprite, like when you order this. No. Although sometimes it is, sometimes it's closer. This one's closer to a citronade, but it's also fizzy, so. Mm. It gets confusing when you bring lemons into the mix. The Palais Royale happens to be one of those places that you've seen in photos a lot because of this little sculpture garden. And by sculpture, I mean like random column garden of poker chips that have been stacked up. I'm not sure what's going on here. It's pretty great. But over here is the actual garden where you have trees, fountains, flowers, and kitsune. This is a great spot for a stroll. The covered galleries are really nice. It's just beautiful. It has quite the history too because this used to be a brothel for a while and there are tunnels that go from here to the Louvre that have been sealed, unfortunately. I would have otherwise snuck into the Louvre to give us a free trip in because if you need any way of skipping the line to get into the Louvre, nothing says skipping the line quite like brothel tunnel from next door. However, even though that's closed, Kasune is still open, so if you want to grab yourself a cup of coffee, walk around, have a sip, get caffeinated, and enjoy a park surrounded by some really beautiful old architecture, some poker chips, and a slippery dog, you can't go wrong. Thank you for the assist there. On, we, have, we have our pet handler, don't worry, everything is safe and sound. Cooper, you look good. Uh. Selfie. If I had one recommendation to make for coffee the entire time that you're in Paris, it's gonna be Motors. Motors Coffee Shop is not only central, it's delicious. And for those of you that don't necessarily drink specialty coffee, this might not sound like the highest compliment I could give, but I promise it is a compliment. They are consistent. Whether you're drinking a latte or a filter, they're going to make a great cup of coffee literally every time. There's something magical about it. Between all my friends, we all think like it can't be possible. We all test them, we all check it out. And every time, it's always good. If you come here and have a bad cup of coffee, you might be the first. Speaking of the first, this Iran is not famous for not really having a whole lot going on. And actually the shocker is that I can give you such a strong recommendation so close to Chatelet because this area, not one that I would ever have recommended you go to in the past, but it is really close to a lot of stuff you're going to love, you're going to enjoy seeing. This is definitely one of the, we would say like areas of higher petty uh, crime moments. Just watch your wallet when you're coming out of the metro, but otherwise, Motors, really, really good. They make their own cookies downstairs. I didn't know this till recently, and their pastries are very good. So they make those in-house, but they also get donuts from Bone Shaker, a place that we recommended in the second. So if you're looking for a donut fix or you just want to try one of their pastries, you're gonna get off to the right start. I forgot that these cinnamon rolls existed for a minute, and I'm ashamed of that because these are really good. Not to overhype it, but they did just come out of the oven, so there's no way that it's not gonna be good. Dad, would you like to tear off a piece? I was telling these guys that because they had the donuts, I assumed that they got their baked goods from somewhere else. But when I tried the cinnamon roll, I was like, this is amazing. Where did you get this? Like, where are you guys sourcing these? I'm like, we're making them ourselves. They have an oven downstairs. They have a kitchen. I didn't know that. Phenomenal. For the last five years, I've been recommending that you come to Maison Maison because it's amazing. For one, they've actually got the main restaurant in the wall, like the, the retaining wall against the river. But the terrace is why you really come here. The view is great. And you're down in the liveliest part of the river. There are people walking by left and right. This is a great place to do people watching. And with things in the background like the Eiffel Tower or Pont Neuf, the oldest bridge in the city, despite the fact that its name is the new bridge. 
we can talk about that another time. In ending this entire series and bringing it down from the 20th all the way to the 1st, it makes sense that we go back to an OG place for a drink on the river because I love having a drink on the river with friends and family, just sitting and watching the world go by, soaking in a little bit of sun. I really love this place. So if you're gonna come to Paris and you're gonna grab an outdoor drink and you feel like it's in your budget to spend 20 bucks on two drinks to be able to sit and enjoy watching the world go by, then this is definitely gonna be the spot for you. Thank you to my patrons for making this possible. You're the foundation of everything I've been able to do and accomplish, and I'm so grateful to have you. And to those of you that are watching and enjoying this whole series, I hope you liked it. I hope the 20 and 20 Take Two is something that you find useful for every trip you take to Paris from here in the future, and that, I don't know, it was worth it. I think it was, I gained some weight. I drank a lot, I ate a lot, but I think it was worth it. I had a great time. Thanks to you for watching. Thanks to Paolo for editing this entire series. Ariana for picking up some of the shorts. Emily for dealing with a lot of the random stuff that came across our plate as we were filming. And again, to you for watching. Make sure you subscribe for whatever comes next, but uh, that's the end of the 2020 take two. Adios, bottoms up. Not gonna chug it.